Yes people, it's Jack Wobb and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third episode of the RTG. The last episode managed to get into the first test wager match, ended up playing for $5, took the lead, saved the penalty and then it came down to the wire and the guy ended up getting a last gasp goal to take it to a second leg. So in the second leg, 1-5-2, wasn't too much of a problem, the guy ended up rage quitting. So I asked you guys what you wanted to see in this episode and you guys want to see higher stakes so what i do loaded up the account and went up and we're going to go to 20 dollars games this time in order to get the pre-order money back i need to win five games and that's what i got to do without losing so yeah i encourage you guys to stick around to see what happens and if you can hit the subscribe button it keeps you more motivated than you could ever imagine so yeah without further ado let's get into it <laughs> So I couldn't actually find an initial game for more than $20, which I originally intended to do. But I found an opponent, it was David Slim 95 and I ended up, we ended up wagering for $10. Early doors, positive signs, nice bit of link up play between the two strikers, Ben Yedder and Mbappe. Um, and then I actually break wide and we actually end up winning a penalty here. It's three minutes in, I'm absolutely buzzing with a penalty. It's huge, could really shape the game. But in true Jack Wolf fashion, step up with Mbappe and take an absolutely awful penalty and miss it. I guess that's karma for saving the one in the last episode. Just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's put a comment out there or subscribed or liked. You guys are really, really helpful to shape the content at the moment. So what I'm thinking of doing is I want to play subscribers or viewers. So let me know in the comments if you guys would be down for that. So it's been a pretty end-to-end -end game. Both, both of us have had good chances. I've had one at one end then he goes down the other end and then some good defending from me. So I break through the line, I'm running through, he brings his keeper out, I pull it back and then bang, there we are, 1-0. So literally right off the bat, he gets a counter attack, my defence is caught in no man's land. He breezes past my defender with Salah, then cuts it back to Firmino and we have 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's a pretty hard L to take, especially after just scoring a goal and feeling pretty confident like you're in control of the match. I mean, he got past my defender too easily and it's a good finish from Firmino, right place, right time, but yeah, really need to respond to this one now. So I'm planning on keeping this series going for as long as I can until FIFA 22 web app starts to come out and then I can really bring out some ultimate team, Road to Glory style. Let me know if you guys want to keep seeing that, keep hitting the like button or even let me know in the comments what else you would want to see. So I play a through ball through to my player and Mbappe has gone through, of course he has just beaten his man with the pace and Van Dijk absolutely takes him out here. Look, EA, yeah, if I was relying on you in just a normal friendly game, it would be fine. But this is for stakes, do you know what I mean? You can't have those kind of errors. Midfield and then plays a through ball to an open Mane. And at this point, I'm thinking, damn, that's going to be a goal. But Hugo Lloris comes up with a huge save. Fabinho blocks the shot and it goes out for a corner. I'd love to see FIFA wager matches implemented into FIFA 22. I think that would be really amazing. Um, I decided to up the stakes to bring you guys as much as I possibly can. and make. So far, it's had a really good reception, getting good views, good likes and subscriptions. So if you guys like this content, please keep hitting that those subscription and like buttons because it just keeps me going. It keeps me motivated to bring you this stuff. Some big defending from Kimpembe there, making two huge tackles to stop a counter-attack. I thought it could have been a goal there, but without his intervention, very much could have been. So he's got a corner here. I moved my player to the front post, but apparently not quick enough. Who comes across at that near post? Sadio Mane. Very controversial. Near post corners, you can't really stop them, can you? 2-1 down, so got a bit of a mountain to climb right now. Kind of a bit shook. But nonetheless, we go again, we go hard, and we try and get this W. Again, another corner. It's getting whipped in deep. Hugo Lloris comes to claim it and he takes so long to get back on his line. EA, please fix this for FIFA 22. What happens now is, yeah, directly from that, picks up the ball with Mane, runs straight through my players and that's simple. Oh. It's 3-1. I'm 3-1 down. This really isn't looking good for me. I'm not sure how I'm feeling, but hopefully I can turn it around or something. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good, boys. Last part of the half, I'm trying to make something work. Uh, just kind of the wiggling with Ben Yedder and Dembele. Managed to get a bit of space with Ben Yedder. Smash it near post in the 45th minute, hoping something will happen, but it just goes wide. So we're going into the half, 3-1 down, and it is not looking good for me right now. First game on, I'm trying to get my money back for pre my pre-order. It's really not looking like that's going to happen, to be honest. We start the second half positively. 
He's coming at us straight from kickoff. We win the ball back pretty easily. Then we give the ball to Pogba, who sends it out wide. Feeds the ball into Dembele. Dembele keeps beating his man. Cuts back in. Passes the ball over to Coleman, who cuts back in. So Griezmann comes back onto his right foot and smashes it near post, and that is a beauty of a goal. So Griezmann provides the equaliser straight away, which is exactly what I need. And then it's straight on to the next play. Mbappe's running shoulder to shoulder with Van Dijk, sits him down. And when you see this, you know the momentum's with you. You know it. So there goes the first, second, and we just absolutely take this guy to bits. End up winning the game 6-3. Exactly what we needed, getting the $10 in the kitty, exactly what I needed. So we go straight on to the next game, and this was against JFTA 2004. So we both went for France. He had a decent record. He had won as many as he had lost, so it looked like a fair matchup. And then we got straight into the game now. So yeah, that was a pretty quick one, but we've got a lot to get through. We ended up coming back from that game. The guy ended up disputing it. It was a bit of a bat. We got the money in the end, so it's all good. But hopping right into this game, it's a pretty competitive game early doors, but we end up burning down the wing pretty quickly, cutting inside, doing some work on the wing, cutting it back to Mbappe, and we take the one more lead, which is exactly what we want to see going into the highest stakes $15 game. So yeah, it was a great start to the game, to be honest. So we established a nice lead early on, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, we go again on the attack, moving the ball forward, get through with Dembele, who misses the first shot, but Mbappe's on the follow-up for 2-0. That's exactly what we want to see in these high stakes games. 2-0 up, early doors. I really don't like taking the lead in these games. It tends to put me off. He could have scored a couple here. Like there's a couple of chances. I think he really started to show kind of like how much better he actually was than me at this point. As I say, I'm a pretty relaxed gamer. I only kind of play, I only enjoy playing ultimate team, a joke. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And that's what this Road to Glory is about. So again, if you guys want to play me, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, at this point, it's been pretty well. I'm controlling the game. Uh, there's a couple of chances going both ways, but I do generally feel like I am in control of the game at this point. We've also got a couple more chances. Pogba gets through and he actually gets through on his own, like strong foot and puts it wide, which was quite frustrating. So yeah, it's now into the second half. He's breaking through with Komen. And Komen's too quick, especially against Pavard, who's just far too slow. I think he ends up getting a chance here, turning his defender, getting through, and look at the state of that goal. That is one of the weakest Ooh. goals that I've seen. And again, EA, look, if this was for, for nothing, I'd be fine with that. But look, this is a wager match. So no wonder you don't have this in your system because this game can be too flawed. Change it for FIFA 22. Straight after that, the next attack, he ends up getting an equaliser, which was a massive pain. Uh, we're now kind of backs to the wall, see what we can do. But yeah, nothing really happened for the rest of the game. We got a couple of half chances, which I'm just putting in now. We end up breaking through. And then in the 90th minute, we get through of Mbappe, takes the shot, can't win the header on the rebound. So that's basically how the game finished. We, we do pick the ball up, put a ball through to Pogba. He clears it and it was just the last that ditch. So we have to go into a rematch. We both choose France again. And it's kind of a bit boring sometimes playing the same team. So it might be nice to play some subscribers who actually choose different teams. We could do different rules. More than happy to do that, just let me know. Um, so I think that would be more interesting. But yeah, we go through and Mbappe gets through early doors. If you don't finish your chances on this game, it's a death wish. Kimbebe makes a huge challenge to save me from 1-0 there. But he breaks through with Kylian and Mbappe. And um, really, what can you do at this point? I've got two Ooh. men there. My defenders are in no man's land. And it becomes 1-0 to him. But then we get an instant reply going up our end breaking through the defence and then just slotting it into the bottom corner. Ideal. But again, two minutes later, he hits me on the counter attack. And this game is seriously end to end. And then he goes and gets a goal. So he takes the lead at 2-1. I think at this point, I started to realise how much better this guy was than me. Um, I break down the wing with Mbappe on my, one of my only chances. He, his Ooh. Hugo Lloris makes a double Ooh. save. And then just before half time, he manages to grab another goal with Kingsley Coman. And this is where it all kind of takes a downhill turn. So yeah, he ends up smashing me in the second half, 
I lose the five dollars and so I lose the wager match and that puts us down on the episode for five dollars but to be honest with you this guy was much better than me so GG to you um, this guy was much better than me uh, it was a good competitive game in the first half I should have closed it out early but yeah you know it's just the way it goes in these games if you don't take your chances you don't win I like to be playing some subscribers or viewers so let me know in the comments if you guys want to play me and um, thank you for viewing the video and thank you for doing what you do guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and I'll see you next episode